How you doing? Today we're testing this boat on a beautiful young lake, Boy Scouts Canada campground on a freshwater lake. We've got one of our 18 foot hard tops here. Uh, we've just sprayed a bunch of flotation in the hull. We'll run through that with you in a second. We've just got some uh, simulated load in the boat here and uh, this boat's just a shell. But we've got three concrete blocks in here uh, weighing 400 pounds a piece, totaling 1200 pounds of serious dead weight. So. Uh, there's no windows in the boat if you'll notice, uh, no finishing just so there's no damage done to anything and no uh, glass or what have you uh, can uh, affect the kids swimming hole here at the lake. Back again at the Silver Streak boat, we're just uh, filling, up, filling her up with water, uh, it's slowly coming in, it's going to take about uh, probably close to an hour, half an hour to fill up. So we're just tied to the dock here waiting for the uh, water to come in and start lowering the, the level of the boat in the water. Again, we're in a freshwater lake today. Uh, fresh water is a little less dense than salt water, so if there's any chance of any boat sinking, it would be uh, easier in a freshwater lake than on the ocean. Just uh, a note there. So this block back here, again, there's three blocks in here at 400 pounds. As you know, concrete doesn't float. There's no air in this box. We weighed them before we come up here. Uh, these are actually tie downs to hold down uh, uh, some oyster nets that are on an oyster lease, so they're good and heavy. This block here actually simulates the weight of a, a good sized four stroke outboard that would generally go on the boat. Uh, inside there's two more that have been welded down to the deck uh, in the forward position to simulate a load in the boat, uh, people, uh, some gear, and obviously the things that are missing, uh, seats and windows, etc. So we'll just continue to sit here and add a bit of weight to the boat and get her, uh, get her a little closer to the water line and uh, we'll check back in a minute. Welcome back. So we're still uh, sitting on the boat here. I just wanted to point out some of the flotation we use in the, in the hulls of our boats. Now uh, this is a spray-in flotation you'll see here. This big void is actually where the fuel tank goes in this boat. Uh, other models we build actually have a raised floor. They have a self, what's called a self bailing deck. Uh, that way your boat can sit in the rain, uh, tied up to the dock, and you don't have to worry about uh, any flooding going on in the boat. It also allows us to get more flotation in the boat if we, if we have a raised floor. Uh, in your particular model of boat. So this is just a safety test we're doing today. Just uh, let you know exactly what we're doing here. Again, we spray flotation all under the hull. Uh, all underneath these gunnels here, there's flotation sprayed under here for level flotation. That is uh, to help stop the boat from rolling over when the boat's full of water. Every boat's going to fill full of water, uh, no matter how much flotation you put in it. But the bottom line is it's supposed to float. Um, other areas we have flotation is all up under the bow. If you point the camera that way, you'll see all the yellow flotation up in there. It's good sound dampening. It takes a lot of the noise and the resonation out of the aluminum hull. And obviously it provides a safety factor of, of having that flotation in the hull. All the decks welded so we don't use wooden floors. So it's all a sealed floor once this lid was over, to, over top of the fuel tank. Um, and if you look in the fish box here, you'll see we're getting a Good load of water in the boat now. I would say we're probably uh, in and around a thousand pounds of water sitting in this boat right now. So if you take the camera and film the back corner of the boat, you'll see the water line going below the chine, but it actually really hasn't moved that much. They're quite a buoyant boat being that they're beaming, so they can hold a lot of weight. Water's just flooding in. In a couple of minutes, it'll be over the deck. This has an optional transom door. Uh, water can come in there. We do put a gasket on it when the boat's being finished, but we've left it open just to allow the water to come in once it starts flooding in that high. Check back with us in a minute and we'll show you the progress. Still flooding the boat here. We're about uh, 20 minutes, half an hour into it. It's taken quite a while, as you can see. Uh, shortly we're going to be moving the boat away from the dock so that we can get a hold of both sides of the boat just off the beach, just in case anything happens. Again, this is just a test. Please don't try this at home.
Water's just flooding in through the door here. It's taking about an hour to get this far. We're just holding it off the beach. As soon as I get a bit more weight in the boat, I'm going to be hopping out and help stabilize the boat. Okay, the boat's filled up full of water. As you can see, we're moving it here. It's not sitting on the bottom. We're just holding it. We let go of it closed for a minute. Boat's floating. Boat's floating level. 1,200 pounds of concrete in it. Full of water. Water's uh, four to five inches down from the gunnels. There's very, very little list to the boat at all couple of degrees maybe. So you can see how deep in the water we are here. Again, the boat is not touching the bottom. We're in a yeah. fresh water lake. This goes down real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too quick for me. <laughs> so I'm going to stand on the bow next and uh, just demonstrate an extra 220 pounds uh, on the bow of this boat and we'll see what happens. So there's another 220 pounds on the boat, on the bow. I'm going to step inside a boat and just see what happens. <laughs> I'm now standing almost up to my chest in water inside the boat here. Again, this is worst case scenario. If the boat ever filled up full of water, it's still floating. 1,200 pounds of concrete, 220 pounds of solid muscle. <laughs> Jump up in the bow just quickly because uh, we have to hold this boat. The wind's blowing it around a little bit. Just to demonstrate, uh, what do you weigh, Claude? 120. <laughs> That's high school weight. <laughs> 200 pounds. There we go. Still floating. Mission accomplished. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.